Welcome everybody, this is Jim. Here we have another lesson on WordPress here at educator.com. And last lesson we talked about starting up a new WordPress account. Today we're going to talk about assigning domain names uh, with your WordPress account. Okay, so the overview of this lesson here, we're going to talk about first how to get a domain name. The next thing is we're going to talk about using WordPress uh, as a domain registrar. And of course, when you get a domain name, you usually need a registrar. And when I mean registrar, companies like GoDaddy, Network Solutions, uh, register.com, we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then finally, uh, using uh, your own domain registrar, okay? Uh, we're going to talk about that as well, as I mentioned. So. It's all about domain registrars in this lesson and how to assign uh, the domain to your WordPress account, whether you're using uh, a hosted WordPress account you know, or a uh, WordPress uh, hosted uh, account. It doesn't matter. Either way, uh, it's all going to work out great. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And before I go into registrars, I want to open up a browser. And here again, the best blog on WordPress, and I know it's kind of hard to read, but the web address is bestblog.wordpress.com. Uh, the next screen, I'm going to show you an amazing website called creativeadawards.com, uh, and this is a WordPress website, and notice the it's really nicely done. On the right-hand side, you do see a set of um, uh, I guess you see a set of a, uh, categories and popular ads. Uh, you've got the right side nav bars. You've got lots of really crisp and clear cut imagery. Great use of fade in, fade out effects. So again, and this is the person's own domain name assigned to a WordPress. The public will not know whether this is a WordPress website or if it's just a regular website uh, using Dreamweaver or HTML or whatever mechanism you use. Uh, again, this is a, a website, the best blog on WordPress. The address is bestblog.wordpress.com. And this one is just a straight uh, URL, creativeadawards.com. Okay, so we're going to minimize this a little bit. Now, to get a domain name, it's nothing new. You all probably know it, but we're just going to mention it. Uh, I like these three domain registrars. And again, the key word here is registrars. Okay, so you want to get a registrar to help you find a domain name that's available, and most registrars allow you to do a search. Okay, and if, if they don't allow you to do a search, then there's something going on with that registrar. I would not use them because uh, that's a pretty obvious thing that they should offer. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, I'll go to, uh, I'll just get out of this and uh, go to godaddy.com. Okay, and as you can see right there, the very first thing is search for a new domain name right here. Okay, and you press the go button and it'll tell you if the domain name's available. Okay, the same thing with Network Solutions. Okay, let's go in right there. And uh, again, the first thing they do, enter a domain name and then find it. Okay, so uh, Domain names, is, and I'm glad they showed you the price over here, $6.99 uh, for network solutions. Uh, different registrars have different prices, so it's usually between uh, you know, $6.99 or $12.99, whichever registrar you use. Uh, these two are the bigwigs right here, the GoDaddy and the network solutions companies. They are the two most popular. I think they own like almost 80% of the market out there, especially GoDaddy. I think GoDaddy is a leading uh, registrar. Network Solution was once a leading registrar before GoDaddy took it over because of the prices. Uh, you know, Network Solutions definitely lowered their prices, which is really welcome. And the nice thing about this is that not only are these guys registrars, but they're also hosting companies. Okay, and that's going to prove important. We're going to talk about hosting in just a minute, so just hold on. Uh, Register.com, I think, uh, you know, I'm not familiar with them as well as much. But uh, if I were to go to register.com, let's study it a little bit, because since I mentioned it, I feel obligated to kind of talk about it. Okay. Uh, it, again, the URL it, are with the uh, download. Again, search the domain name. Okay, so very first thing, if you know it's a very good 
uh, registrar, it'll search the domain name, and it looks like it also offers a hosting package, as you can see right here. So, uh, I, you know, would definitely be uh, valuable if you select a domain name and uh, register and host it at the st with the same company. It makes a really big difference. You're going to find out why a little bit later. So, once again, these are the three registrars. Certainly not the only registrars available. There's practically hundreds of companies out there that you can use, and uh, there are some hosting companies out there that also. Uh, refers uh, pretty good uh, domain registrars as well. So at any rate, uh, moving along.